people, how are you? My name is Connor. You are watching thrivingminimalist.com and we just entered into this beautiful apartment here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. So today we're talking about what you can get for $300 for an apartment and we're going to talk a little bit about other expenses that you might expect for an apartment for a space to be living in. And if you want a little more details on the minimalist side of this apartment, how I style it, how Brittany and I style it, and why we have the things that we have here and why we don't have the things that we don't have here, you can check out the other video on the same apartment. But for this one, we're just talking about expenses. We're talking about how to get you to Thailand and to enjoy your space here for very, very inexpensive. So this is actually one of the more expensive places in Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is a small city in the north. Um, it's one of the larger cities in Thailand, but albeit it's, uh, it's still a pretty small city. And it's an absolutely beautiful place. The weather is great. The people are friendly. The fruit is off the hook. And Brittany and I also host a festival here every January. So this time it's going to be January 12th to the 20th, it's called Fruit Winter Fest. We would highly encourage you to get on a plane and get your butt over here so we can celebrate life together at Fruit Winter Fest. This apartment is, like I said, a little bit more expensive than a lot of the apartments here in Chiang Mai, and I will tell you why. But let's begin by just checking out the space. So we just entered through the door. Let's enter into the bathroom here. You can see right off the bat, there's a bidet spray. That's to hose off your butt, and uh, you can also use toilet paper, you can also use a rag to just dry off your butt, whatever you want, but that's generally what they use here in Thailand, and toilet paper, anything that is not coming out of your body goes into the trash can because plumbing is a little bit different here. Another plumbing thing that is different than uh, most Western places, at least certainly in the US, is this little electric heater for your hot water. So there's not an external hot water tank that holds a bunch of hot water, but instead cold water runs through this guy and it heats up right here. So what you're generally gonna get is a little bit lower pressure, maybe not quite as hot as you're used to. For this apartment, um, partly because of the price, this happens to be a very good quality uh, electric heater for the water and the showers are awesome. The other unusual thing about this space is it has a bathtub. That's really unusual for Thailand. And it actually works, like you can fill up enough hot water from that little electric heater to, to have quite a nice bath. So it's got a little mirror, you know, all the things you would expect in a bathroom. No fan, which is also pretty standard for Thailand. We also have this closet. So this is the door, right? You walk in and we have the closet. It's pretty functional. It's pretty big. It's big enough for Brittany and I, certainly. And then we came with a, a little desk, a little chair. In the corner here, it did have a TV and a TV stand. We had them take that out. Comes with a little side table, comes with the bed, comes with the rack to dry some clothes, little corner table. So this is the main room. And then it's divided by this glass divider and you enter in here and this is where the kitchen is. So the kitchen is behind me. It comes with the refrigerator. Obviously it comes with the sink, comes with the countertop. You've got a little more space here. You've got places to store stuff. And you come over here and it comes with these two couch uh, cushiony chairs and these two regular chairs. Also the small eating table. So this is the whole space. It's pretty much like a large studio or maybe a divided studio. There's a couple of other expenses besides the $300 to rent the place. There is an AC unit here, which is great. We are using that. That is on electric. Any other electric we are paying for uh, every month. They give you a bill. It's about $25 US dollars. $30, something like that. Not a bad deal. And the other thing that we're paying for is internet, which is about, I think it was like $10 a month, something like that. And that's for both Brittany and I. When I first stayed in Thailand, I was paying $125 per month. I got free internet and it was a little outside of town. It didn't have a kitchen, but it did have a little porch. 
and it was a bit smaller. We have a friend right now that's paying about $250 for a two bedroom. It's a little outside of the city and the layout is a little bit different. It doesn't have some of the amenities this place comes with, but that gives you an idea. You can absolutely get places here for $100 a month. Absolutely. So let's talk about why we're paying three times what we could be paying. This apartment is next to our absolute favorite place in Chiang Mai. That is the park. And the reason we love the park so much is because we play acro there every single day. There are some incredible acrobats doing standing acrobatics, L basing acrobatics, people doing acro yoga, people doing juggling, people doing slack lining. And all of that happens over here at the park. So let me open up this window and I'll show you a little bit more where that is. Right there where all those palm trees are is the park. As I said, the city isn't super large, so even if we were across town, getting to the park would probably only take up to 20 minutes. But the fact that we can just put on our backpacks and walk right across the street to our favorite destination makes this place well worth the extra money. The other cool uh, amenities about this place is that it gets cleaned every single week. The bed covers get changed, the floor gets swept, mopped, bathroom gets swept, mopped, tub cleaned out, and we get fresh pair of towels every single week. As you probably noticed, the view here is absolutely stunning. And you know, you can get places that are maybe bigger than this for a little bit less. But this place for me feels so spacious because of these views. We're one of the tallest buildings in Chiang Mai. We're definitely one of the tallest buildings in this particular spot of Chiang Mai. And I just love it. I love sitting down here in the morning and looking down at the street, just watching people cross the street, watching traffic, looking at the moat. I absolutely love the view and it's a huge benefit. At the end of this video, we'll take a walk up to the roof as well and we will show you that epic and amazing view and just more space. There's just more space to hang out and lounge here. Also, the desk service is incredible. The people here are really friendly. They're really eager to help you out. Another thing that you're paying for in an apartment like this is security. There is a, a gate that you have to, you saw me check that little keypad to get into the building. There's also a security guard on the premises at all times at the front. There's also parking in garage parking for either your bicycle, your moped, uh, or your car. If you're looking to come to Chiang Mai, but you're not looking to stay for a full 30 days, there are tons of options, tons of hostels available to you all over the city. Any given street has any number of hostels available and they range from anywhere from about three dollars to a hundred dollars it just depends on what you're looking for but most of the time between ten and twenty dollars is going to get you a pretty decent place with wi-fi with you know your own space some of the places that are a little bit less are shared either rooms or shared bathrooms what i would recommend you do if you're interested in coming to chiang mai is come on over here, book something fast on like a goto.com, whatever it is, book it inside of the old city, and then do some research. Just start riding your bicycle around or take some nice walks. Find an area that you really like and start poking your head in some of these apartment buildings and asking questions. I hope this video is illuminating for you to help you understand what you can get for your money here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And as I said before, I would love to see you at Fruit Winter Fest, if not this year, maybe next January. Much love to you. We will check in next time. Mwah.